let's take a look at how we can set up Mendeley and begin our journey together to being efficient Mendeley users. The first thing you'll need to do is create an account via Mendeley.com. This is completely free and only takes a few seconds to do so. We'll need to create a Mendeley account to enable you to log into the software. Now once you've created your account you'll be prompted to download the appropriate version of Mendeley Reference Manager for your PC or laptop. And you don't have to do this right away but it's a good idea to have the application installed on your main working computer. Once you have navigated to Mendeley.com you'll be viewing their web page and this will give you the ability to create an account. Clicking on that link will enable you to enter your email address. This will enable you to access your Mendeley account by checking your inbox. Once you've entered your email address, you'll be presented with this screen, which enables you to provide your given name and your family name, as well as creating a strong and secure password. Please note, if you are signing up from a shared device, you may wish to untick the box that says stay signed in. Once you're happy with that, clicking on register will confirm that you have now created an account. From this point, clicking on continue will sign you in to your Mendeley account. So that is step one, creating an account which you'll need to successfully create a Mendeley reference manager library. You will need to download the software for Mendeley and you can do so by visiting mendeley.com and clicking on the download link. This will present you with a screen giving you the ability to download the software for the device you're using, be that Windows, Mac or Linux. Clicking on the relevant link for the reference manager for desktop will then begin the download process for that piece of software. Depending on the browser you're using, find that file and run the file. We'll then take you through the installation process to get Mendeley Reference Manager installed and set up on your device. Going through the installation options manager will then give you the ability to install the software. Once that is complete, you'll be given the option to run Mendeley Reference Manager once you have downloaded the software, you'll need to find that on your desktop and double click on the icon to run Mendeley Reference Manager. At this point, as we have already created an account, you can enter your email and password credentials to sign in. Once you have logged in to the Mendeley Reference Manager, you'll be presented with your Mendeley software and access to your Mendeley library. And it's from here that we can begin to start and build our collections and add to our Mendeley library. To install Mendeley site, as you open your Mendeley Reference Manager for the first time, you'll be presented with a box that allows you to download the Mendeley site option. Clicking on that link will take you through to the App Store whereby you can download Mendeley site by clicking on the Get It Now link. Once you've done that, accept the terms and conditions and click continue. And then select the open in Word button. This will prompt you to open Microsoft Word and it will launch the add-in information page. From here, to access the add-in, you can click on the References tab where you will see the Mendeley site icon. Clicking on that icon will bring up a toolbar to the right-hand side with access to your Mendeley library, which we will look at later. You will also need to install the web importer for Mendeley to enable you to add references to your library. You can do this by going to the Tools option at the top of the page and clicking on Install Mendeley Web Importer. This will take you to the relevant page for your browser to enable you to get the Web Importer by clicking on the icon. 
This will take you through to the, the App Store, giving you the ability to add the extension to your browser. So the importer has been added to Chrome, the browser that I am using, and if that is not showing in Chrome, clicking on that icon and pinning the web importer extension will enable you to see the Mendeley web importer icon. That is how you install the Mendeley web importer browser extension for your browser. Now we have created an account and downloaded the software, we're going to have a look at what the Mendeley library looks at before we get into the details of importing and generating citations. So let me take you on a tour of the Mendeley library interface. Once you've downloaded the software, you'll need to open Mendeley and log in to your account. This ensures that any changes you make are being made to your own account and will be carried across when you log into different devices. When viewing your Mendeley library, you'll see a list of your imported references in your library. Now to begin with, your library will be very much a blank canvas that allows you to import the citations that are relevant to you. So when we begin with our library, you'll see there is a, a column approach to Mendeley. And on the left hand side, you will see you have the ability to add a new citation. And just below that, we have all references. So that is all of your references that you have ever imported into library will be presented in this view. The middle column, you will notice the authorship, the year and the title of papers, and you can scroll down that page. Following down from all references, you have the ability to see those papers that have been recently added or indeed recently read to your library. Mendeley also allows you to curate collections or groups to bring some order to your library as over time your library will grow and there will be a need for some curation. Selecting a collection will present you with a view of all of those titles that you have put into that folder. And I will show you how to both insert your citations and begin to curate your collections as we progress through this course. To demonstrate the use of the web importer, we have run a search in Google Scholar and I've been presented with my results. From this point, I can click on the web importer button and I will need to sign in the first time I use it using my username and password that we created earlier. Once that is done, you'll be logged in to your Mendeley account and those entries on that page will be pulled automatically through and be visible within the web importer pop-up on the right hand side. As you can see presented here, we have the bibliographic information, the PDF and the ability to edit the record at this point. So if you notice the details aren't quite correct or you need to add some additional information that isn't there, you can do so at this point by clicking on the edit button. Once you're happy with that, you can then proceed to select either all of those references and send them to an individual folder. You could also individually select those titles which you want to import and by clicking on the add button that will capture that information and import those into your Mendeley library as denoted by the tick symbol next to PDF and reference. I've closed that down now and when I go back into my Mendeley desktop software version, you can see the most recently imported titles are appearing at the top of my page. If they aren't, pressing the sync button will pull those through for you. They've been sent to my all references area, but it's also in my demo folder as that is where I selected to add those to the collection when using the web importer. To create your reference list or bibliography at the end of your document, you can again use Mendeley site to do that. Clicking on the more icon allows you to insert bibliography for any of those items that you have already inserted as an in-text citation. Searching for research can be overwhelming and frustrating. Now join me to discover the secret world of Google and Google Scholar search tips and tricks to narrow down your results 
and return the exact results you're looking for. Google is a super effective tool to conduct your literature search when done properly. However, most people don't know how to use Google effectively for research. If you take this course, you will have the edge and learn the secrets of a successful search in Google and Google Scholar to ace your research and achieve academic success with minimal effort. Learn with me and you'll be able to access Google's secret advanced search functionality. Use Google special command shortcuts such as symbols or words in your search to make your search results more precise and time efficient and give you an unfair advantage as most people don't know about them. You will also discover the very best alternative search engines to Google that will complement your academic research, uncover the secrets of getting access to research hidden behind a paywall, and learn how to customize Google Scholar to your exact requirements. There are no requirements to join the course. We only ask that you come open-minded and ready to learn. Feel free to take a look through the course description and we look forward to seeing you inside. So what are you waiting for? Get instant access to this course and start your journey to improve your research and save yourself time. Enroll today and I look forward to seeing you inside the course.